One year for Christmas, I think it was about third grade. My uncle gave me a Rubik's Cube. I messed it up the first time and then I was like, okay, well now what? I can't fix it. And I realized that it's just a puzzle. The centerpieces don't move and everything else just gets shifted around the centerpieces. So I always got Legos and Kinects as a kid. That is what got me into architecture and architectural design and engineering. I think outside the box. My brain works completely different than anybody I've ever talked to. I like to look at things on different levels. So when I'm designing a picture for uh, architecture, I'm looking at it as a 2D drawing, but I'm also wondering what it looks like if I was on the same plane as this drawing and the walls were actually coming out of the paper. But when I have to design my own building, I have to think, okay, how is somebody gonna walk through this house? You know, they go to the front door, is it the living room first or the kitchen, or are we just gonna walk right into a bedroom? And that's what really got me interested in the Rubik's Cube, because you can't just go with one side and then turn it and then work on another side, because you'll mess the other side up. You have to work on the puzzle as a whole, and that's how you have to do it with architectural or civil drafting. You can't just pick one wall to work on, make the wall a certain height and a certain length and a certain width. You actually have to incorporate that wall with the rest of the building. This is actually my favorite Rubik's Cube. You'll be able to solve the cube. Just might take you some time. This side is solved, this side is not. <laughs> There's still one piece I'm missing, there it is. It's a pain. This one's really working my brain right now. It's a mind thing. Not everybody plays with a Rubik's Cube for fun.